Hey Gemini, this is your general October 2019 tarot reading. Please keep in mind that because you all have your sun signs and rising signs at different degrees, these can be timeless, meaning that they could have already happened or they could be happening later on. It all depends. In the general reads, it's very difficult, but I'll try to do my best. Um, if this doesn't resonate with you, please check your rising or your moon sign for your messages might be there instead. So let's take a look at what's happening in October for Geminis on their general read. Sun, Moon, or Rising, October, Gemini. All right. Well, Geminis. Ooh. All right. So in your past position, we have the Three of Water, which is... The Three of Cups, and it typically denotes celebrations, fun, good times, okay? So something, you guys were happy. You guys were happy, um, but on your mind, we have an air sign, which could be you, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, okay, um, person, um, that you've been feeling quite discontent, okay, with a situation that could be revolving another air sign person that came up in the reverse, another Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini person, okay? Um, and the roles can be reversed here. It could be the male, female, it doesn't matter, okay? These are general readings. But it looks like you were happy or had high hopes for something with another air sign person in this particular read, okay? This may not be your reading. If it's not, doesn't resonate with you, it's not for you. Um, but I see you being discontent with the movement with another air sign person, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. You'd have to know their birth time to know if they have a moon or Venus in, in air sign, okay? But you had high hopes for it to move forward and it hasn't been, or you're not happy with any other options that have been coming through for you, okay? You want this other air sign person, but they're not moving forward with you or things are stuck, definitely with the eight of air here, okay? Um, and a lot of you have been in your head about this person, this other air sign person. So let's take a look and see what's going on here. Can you tell me more? about the king of air in reverse for Gemini's reading. Now this could be reg regarding a friend, a family member, or a love interest. But it looks like some of you may have been happy in the past with this person and now you're not. Or you just want this person and it's not moving forward with them and you're very unhappy about it. Tell me about this king of air. Gemini's reading. All right, yeah, some of you have, you see the world in this person. You really want everything with this person. For some of you, this could be a boss or a job opportunity that you've been waiting on that's going to come through, okay? That's for some of you. And for others of you, regarding a love interest, a friend, a family member, or whatever, you really invested a lot of time in them. They invested a lot of time in you, okay? But something is stuck here. You, things aren't coming through. You really want this person or vice versa, okay? And you're not moving forward with them. Can you tell me about this Eight of Air for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising? All right, this person really makes you feel good. This person, you're very, very attracted to them. You're very attracted to them. Things haven't been moving forward. You feel like they're your everything. And... They make you happy. You're happy with them, but you're just, you're there. You've been very discontent with how things have been moving because it looks like it hasn't been. All right. Um, and you're very attracted to them. They make you feel good. You feel good around them. They're, they have everything that you want is what I'm seeing here. Can you tell me more about the tenant earth? Some of you, this person could be do well for themselves as well. But there's going to be some kind of breakthrough here. I feel like this person, some of you are going to be expressing how you feel to this person, or you already have, but some of you are going to be expressing how you feel to this person. And some of you, this person's going to come through and just tell you how they feel about you. And it looks like it's positive because they want to, you know, now this could be just a passionate endeavor. If it's a job opportunity, that's coming through, okay? 
the job opportunity is definitely coming through. We got the Ten of Earth, which is big money, and the Page of Fire, which is an offer coming through that's going to make you really passionate. If this is a love interest that you had high hopes for and things have been stagnant and you've just been discontent with things, feeling a little stuck, you have, you know, it looks like this is all moving forward in the positive way. For some of you, it's a fire sign person, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, and some of you, it's an air sign person, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, another one, that things have been stuck, but it looks like there's an offer coming through or something moving forward here with a fire sign or an air sign in October. You guys do have Jupiter transiting your fifth house of love and... Oh, wait, no, that was, um, I'm sorry, you guys, I was Leo, I just did Leo's. Um, you know what, I feel like this is going to be some sort of breakthrough that you guys have been waiting for on an air sign or a fire sign person, okay? Um, you definitely have high hopes for this situation. You really, 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 really want this person. And you do have Mars moving into your fifth house of love and romance, and you currently have Venus there. Let's take a look and see what's gonna what's gonna happen with the situation. I see a, an offer coming through for some of you, definitely of things like moving forward. Yeah, and it's somebody from the past that you've already been involved with, you have a long history with, they're a close friend, they're a family member, they're an ex-love. Somebody from the past here coming through with a love offer here or a passionate new start with either an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini or a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. And there's definitely been some time invested in the situation. Let's see what kind of advice card do we have with regarding the situation what kind of messages do we have for gemini sun moon arising for october 2019 you guys haven't been happy with what's been going down with this as of today you got intuition which means your intuition is telling you a lot about the situation some of you feel like this person's gonna come through some of you know that this person is the one for you, okay? You know this person is for you. You've been waiting. You you maybe are friends. You've maybe been, because the three of water is a celebration. Like you guys have fun together in the past or you felt good, you had high hopes of it, but then something left you discontent. It didn't work out. And you invested a lot of time in this person, whether it's a fire sign or an air sign, it's somebody from the past definitely and there's the page of fire coming through. And you guys intuitively know this is your person. But something's on the hold up here that's coming through as I see you feeling happy about the situation, but you've got the patience card. So for some of you, it may not be in October, I'm just gonna say, but I do feel like there's gonna be some progress because this person does feel passionately about you. They care about you. They feel for you there's but when we get the patience card you intuitively know this is your person but there's going to be there's a there's there's a wait here okay your patience will pay off though because it's telling you that when the patience card comes it says have patience because divine timing is at play here and it's not saying move on <laughs> It's saying have patience, so it tells me that this is going to come through for those of you that this does resonate with, okay? Because we got the truth card too. So the truth about something's coming out in the situation as well, or you know the truth, you intuitively know the truth, and, and you're, it's required you some patience, Geminis, okay? For those of you that this does resonate with an air sign or a fire sign, somebody from the past or somebody you have a long history with, 
that you've put invested a lot of time money effort whatever into this person or maybe just time and they haven't been moving forward and nothing's really come together on this situation and you got the patience card you definitely are very attracted to them you have strong feelings you just there's nobody else that you want okay this is the discontent card there's nobody else that you want but this particular reading is saying have patience gemini I know you don't want to hear that, <laughs> nobody does, but divine timing is at play here is what I'm picking up clearly. And there we have it. So if you'd like a personal reading, you can visit my site at www.illumastrology.com to know more about your particular situation. Um, otherwise, have patience, Gemini. It looks like there's something coming through here, okay? Or maybe a lot of you have had patience and now the breakthrough is coming through. Like I said, the timing is going to be different for all of you. All right? But there is a breakthrough, an expression of feelings, passion, and emotions coming through here from somebody from the past or somebody you invested, a, a friend, a family member, whatever the situation, how it applies. Okay? You've had a lot of patience for it. They're your everything. They're, that's all you want. And now there is a breakthrough coming. Okay? But the timing will be different for all of you. So there you have it. I hope you found this helpful. I'm sending you lots of love and positive energy. I'm going to be doing a, a, a love reading also for October. Um, but again, like I said, the timing's different in general readings. We cannot say what the timing will be for all of you in a general reading. Um, but if it resonates with your current situation, then you can kind of see when the timing will be. But I'm going to do a, a, a love reading that can be very specific as well to a particular situation so if it doesn't fit your situation it's not for you um but maybe it will and i hope it does all right so i'm sending you guys positive energy for all the best lots of love to you until next time